Let's begin with the rollout of vaccinations. Uh, it's now been delayed here in Australia by at least a month. Pharmacists will not be administering jabs until June. Now, your state in Queensland just came out of a three-day lockdown. Are lockdowns inevitable as the rollout continues to be delayed? Well, I don't see the need for these kind of lockdowns that we have seen recently. Uh, they don't seem to have been critical uh, in stopping any spread. Uh, we've seen now, I think, at least four outbreaks from hotel quarantine uh, since just before Christmas last year. Uh, all of them have been associated with lockdowns after the event, so weeks of no lockdown while there's been uh, infected people. And there have, hasn't been uh, a significant spread from that. So I think sensible precautions on travel, uh, sensible uh, behavioural uh, strategies uh, are the right way to go. The lockdowns itself don't seem to do much. We only had a three-day lockdown the last few weeks in Brisbane while infected people have been around for weeks, but we haven't had a significant spread. So I, I just don't think we should be bearing the costs of billions of dollars of lockdowns for what doesn't seem to be a big payoff in terms of lack of spread. OK, but there's clearly a supply issue right now with the vaccines. The federal government can't confirm how many doses have already been uh, made locally. Queensland said it's storing vaccines over supply issues. Does the federal government need to come out and give Australians an indication of how many have been produced locally? What we need here is transparency. Danica, my understanding is the state governments have objected uh, to data being released on how many vaccines there are, how many have been given to states. That was something that was, uh, I believe, discussed at the last National Cabinet. Well, I asked the state governments to let the sunlight in. Uh, uh, let the sunlight in to how many vaccines are out there. Uh, if you've got nothing to hide, don't hide anything. Because right now we're seeing this uh, pretty tawdry blame game pl uh, play out. Uh, I don't think the Australian people want that. I don't think the Australian people want a Queensland government that seems to have a sign on their desk saying the buck never stops here. Uh, let's all just take responsibility for this and get all the data out there. Release all the data. Release all the information to the Australian public. What have you got to hide? Queensland's Deputy Premier Stephen Miles yesterday accused the Prime Minister for using the vaccine rollout to distract from the issue of treatment of women in Canberra. We know as well David Littleproud last week fired his own words. Is this war of words appropriate? Well, uh, I was a bit surprised to hear Mr Miles say that. I suppose there's two versions of events here. One version is that Prime Minister Scott Morrison uh, uh, was able to get uh, deficiencies into the Queensland health system that caused two outbreaks to occur in their own hospitals. He then spread misinformation about a story around a house party occurring with 25 guests, which never happened. Uh, he also had failure, made sure there were failures in testings where a Gladstone person just down the road from here couldn't get a test straight away, even though he was a close uh, contact. Uh, and that caused this massive distraction from all the things in Canberra. That's one version of events that Mr Miles has come up with. The other version is that Queensland Health stuffed up. That's the other version. Uh, and I don't know about you, Danica, but I think always the simple story is always the most believable. There were stuff-ups here in the last few weeks. I'm not going to continue to worry about who is to blame, who's not. Let's fix the stuff-ups. And if Mr Miles thinks billions of dollars of costs on small businesses in Queensland is somehow a distraction attempt, it shows he is completely out of touch with what is occurring on the ground here. Uh, people lost their jobs in the last week. People uh, have been struggling to pay the rent. Businesses have been struggling to keep their doors open thanks to the issues that have been exposed in the Queensland health system. Let's fix those issues rather than, this, rather than continue this ridiculous political tennis match mm. of going between Canberra and Brisbane all the time. People are sick of it. All right. Well, it's, it hasn't gone away in the last week. Matt Canavan, thank you for joining me this morning. Nara's Danica. Have a great day. Thank you.